In the back you can see uh, our project, Car Simulator, with uh, which we, we try to mimic the real um, driving experience of the drivers and we would like to measure also psychophysiological responses of drivers. Uh, we attach different sensors to our driver's uh, body. Uh, for example, we attached sensor for blood volume pulse on the middle finger. Uh, we attached galvanic skin response sensor to other fingers and we also attached temperature sensor that measures relaxation of the muscles. Also, we attached a sensor for breathing around the waist and our driver has, as you can see, on his head a cap and underneath is an um, EEG sensor that measures brain activity on one point. Uh, we would like to detect responses of drivers in the different crucial moments and uh, with all these informations we would like to detect special groups of drivers, especially those drivers that, has, that have some problems driving and the drivers that react too much on the uh, stimuli from the environment. There are some uh, groups that we have already detected, but we would like to see combinations of psychophysiological responses to determine this hypothesis. Here we have also a computer, and this computer is attached to our biofeedback device that is called Nexus Mark II. We have here EEG screen and we are measuring different brain waves during driving of our driver on the simulator and we are measuring which uh, frequency is dominant during uh, driving and during certain scenarios and certain critical moments. The brain frequencies that we are measuring are theta, slow brain waves, uh, alpha am amplitude, uh, sensomotoric rhythm and fast beta amplitude. Here we have biofeedback screen, multimodality biofeedback screen and uh, we can uh, monitor the driver's heart rate, uh, temperature uh, on his fingers, respiration rate and skin conductance stress level. Now our drivers uh, has evidently a little bit raised um, heart rate. Uh, his skin uh, conductance level is above normal, so he's not relaxed, he's very activated. Also, his respiration rate is much, much higher than normally. That means that he is breathing very shallowly, uh, very fastly. But interesting is that his um, muscles are actually relaxed because his temperature of the fingers is quite high and it looks like maybe he's also enjoying this ride. <laughs>